Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I try to do a lot of hooded eye tutorials since there aren't too, too many out there for my kind of heavy hooded eyes. But I also like to do kind of lifestyle things sometimes, fashion, favorites, etc., etc. So I've been super inspired by the like Nordstrom hauls lately that people have been doing. So I wanted to kind of step away from the tutorials today and kind of do like a favorite. So there's a lot of makeup things in here because I pulled a lot of my makeup favorites, but there's also some home favorites, there's some fashion favorites, and just all around things that I've been enjoying. So if you're interested in that kind of video, go ahead and keep watching. So let's go ahead and start out with the makeup products since I am a makeup channel. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with, which you guys are going to kill me for because this has been around forever and everyone and everyone and everyone. I'm probably the only like beauty guru person on here who hasn't had this yet, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It's what I have on my eyes right now. It's a very subtle look, but also beautiful. This palette lives up to the hype. This is what it looks like. I'm sure most of you have seen this. I ordered a tanning product because I saw Casey Holmes did a tanning video. I ordered a tanning product from a website, I think in Australia or London or something like that, and this was on there and I was just like, Brittany, buy it. You've wanted it forever, buy it. Now, I will say that the Wet n Wild, let me grab it for you really quickly. All right, here we go. The Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette, which is like six bucks from the drugstore, is pretty similar. I think you guys can kind of get that. So if you're on a budget, this is a good route. I think Wet n Wild make some of the best drugstore formula eyeshadows, uh, but it's not quite as pigmented as the Anastasia. So if you can spend the money, I would buy the Anastasia because it's just so pigmented, easy to blend, and just all around a great palette. So yes, I am now sucked into the hype of the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm sure you'll be seeing this in some tutorials coming soon because I really like it. So I'm gonna try to not dwell too much on what I talk about because we don't have a ton, but I don't want this to be too long of a video. So the next thing I wanna talk about as far as makeup is one that I've had for a very long time and I recently rediscovered it. I don't know why I stopped grabbing for this, but it's the Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick in Radiant and this is beautiful. Now I mainly stick to these two shades up here and it's like one of those wet metallic kind of highlights. Hopefully you guys can see that on the back of my hand. That probably was a horrible, horrible swatch, but this is just such a good highlighter. I know Makeup Revolution makes some of the best drugstore highlighters. There's a palette out there that like everyone went crazy about. I can't remember. It's like a collaboration with somebody. And then I know they have another one out there that everyone is loving. So pick up the Makeup Revolution highlighters. If you don't want a whole palette, this is a really good way to go. I don't really dip into the bottom shades too much, but I just want to show you when I rub my whole finger in it, it just gives like a nice kind of slightly bronze. So if I was really tan, not really tan, but tan, like freshly self tan, I could definitely go with that. But like I said, I tend to use the top two colors, super affordable and a really great product. And I've been grabbing for it like a lot in the last two months for the summer. Next thing, let's go ahead and like finish out face products and then we'll move into everything else. The Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This is Vintage Rouge. I have been loving this. I have it on right now, and you guys can just see the sheen that it gives. It gives the prettiest sheen. Such a good formula. It's buttery soft, super pigmented, and smells like coconuts. I'm sure you guys know a lot about this stuff, but this is so good, and I have just been grabbing for it like crazy lately, especially with the tan on. It just looks so, so, so pretty. The next thing is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. A lot of people talked about this because I think Tati talked about it. And when Tati talks about something, people tend to go crazy. Now, I'm not usually a banana powder person, but this is so smooth. And if you are having an issue, like see how it just brightened up my hand a little bit? I hope you guys can see that on camera. It somehow just does magic for your under eyes it's smoothing it's creamy it brightens if you guys wanted to try like i was saying the kim brightening powders try this first this is like 3.99 or 4.99 from the drugstore and i absolutely love it and no matter what 
color I am, if I'm super tan or super pale, somehow this works out for me. This is like really irritating my ear right now. I'm gonna flip it around. This is also a favorite as it's like scalding my ear. My ear is gonna like slowly turn tomato red. All right, next thing for the face, and again, this is one that I'm like super late to the game. It's the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Everyone kind of went crazy for these when they come out, came out, and I was like, oh God, another drugstore foundation that I'm probably not gonna like. I freaking love this. It looks so good, it lasts all day, and the thing I like most about this is I don't need to apply a lot to get a nice coverage, but my skin can still look like skin. I use like two pumps and I work my way from the inside out and it covers the redness, it covers the discoloration and just looks so beautiful on my skin. I have not touched any foundation for the most part since I got these and I'm absolutely loving it, which is why I went back and got the lighter shade. When I'm tan, I use 220 and when I have no tan on, I have 118. I'm in this like weird between what else is new tan stage right now, so I I used 118 today and just bronzed up a lot, but so good. Try this if you haven't. On that same note, the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I bought one, went back for another because I like it that much. This stuff is so good. I have vanilla, the lighter one, and I have natural beige for when I'm a little more tan. The natural beige is still, when I'm tan, maybe about one shade lighter than my like tan shade but it is just so beautiful it doesn't crease on me it lasts all day it blends out beautifully and it's not like as full coverage in my opinion as the Tarte Shape Tape which was too much coverage for me and it's a lot more hydrating than the Tarte Shape Tape which Tarte was too dry for me I liked it at first but like as soon as it was open for like a week I feel like the Tarte kind of just dried out and looked nasty so I stopped grabbing for it and this is every Thing I want in a concealer. If you've been watching me for a while, you know the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is my absolute favorite. I think it's the hyaluronic acid in there that does it for me, which is also in the concealer. Try this, you guys. It is so good. I feel like people are either loving it or not liking it as far as like the beauty community, but I absolutely love it. I think the coverage is perfect and it just blends out so nice and it doesn't, my eyes are starting to water, sorry. It doesn't cake up and it's not dry and that's everything I want in a concealer. So loving that, try that if you haven't had a chance, I promise you will love it. Again, with the face, I've talked about this a lot, the Scandinavia, the makeup setting spray, the bridal one specifically, I have been absolutely loving this. This keeps my foundation on, not just my foundation, my makeup on, all day, I've used it on clients. They absolutely love it. They wake up the next day. Their makeup is still perfect. It is so good. And I think it's like, they always have some kind of deal. I feel like every time I reorder it, I am getting a free like little, not one ounce, that'd be too much. Half, I don't know. They send a little baby cute version of like a primer and a setting spray, which is awesome for travel. They usually have free shipping. Sometimes they have like a percentage off when you buy online. This is Scandinavia once again. Try this. I'm pretty sure that they make the Urban K all nighter stuff, and I, I think, but I just, I like this a little bit better. If you are looking for a new, really, really powerful setting spray, check this out. Next thing, the Japanesque, Japanese, however you pronounce it, face sponge, the one with the red. I have been loving this. It's so bouncy. It's the perfect size. I feel like the butt is a little bit bigger than a beauty blender. I think that it holds up better than the beauty blender and I have not looked back since I bought this. This is like 10 bucks. A lot of times it's on sale for like $6.99. I think this is the best sponge for when applying like a dry product like the banana powder or something like that it just works so well it doesn't like cake up or anything like that camera shut off but this is all around just one of the best sponges that i've ever tried and i'm absolutely loving it so go try this out at ulta if you can so only a couple of makeup things left um nyx lip products i have been loving i told i mean i've always kind of grabbed for my nyx products but I've just been grabbing nonstop for the NYX Soft Brown Lip Pencil. Let me just show you on the back of my hand. It's just a slight bit more brown than my natural lips, and this works really well if I wanna kinda cheat my lip line. So I've been loving that. If you're like really into like MAC lip liners but you don't wanna spend the money, check NYX out. They're like 450, I think at Ulta. Again, you can use a coupon and these never fail, and I feel like they last forever so good and they never break on me which is awesome and the next thing is the NYX soft matte lip cream 
I have this on right now in London. This is one of their, I think, most popular shades. So pretty, so comfortable. The most comfortable, like, satin matte lip. I'm not a big matte lip person anymore. I liked it for a while when it first came out, but then it just, I have, like, liney lips already, and it just really emphasizes them and cracks. So if you like that, but you don't like the crackiness of matte lips, check out the soft matte cream. These are really, really good. And just one more product when it comes to what I'm loving, and this is no surprise because I feel like I've worn them in almost every video since I got them, the Lorac like Beauty and the Beast collection lipsticks. These are so good. They're so hydrating. I just hate the packaging. Like this is so cheap. This is plastic. Like that kind of sucks because I bought them at Nordstrom Rack, so I paid like I think 24 bucks or something like that for all five of them, but if I was buying these like new at the store, I would want this to be a little bit nicer, but the Lorac formula, like you could see on the back of my hand, it's just so juicy and beautiful. I'll put a little on so you guys can see like, it's juicy, it's beautiful, and it's comfortable. And they last a pretty decent time, so I have been absolutely loving these. That actually reminded me of one more lip product that I'm loving. So I bought on the Nordstrom anniversary sale thing, this like YSL lip. There were three of them basically, and this is my absolute favorite. Now, I have a story behind this. Now, I used to babysit for somebody who had these, and I remember thinking like, when I get older and I have money, I'm gonna buy myself a YSL lipstick and I'm gonna look so cool. Like, for some reason, having a YSL lipstick to me meant like, you made it, you know what I mean? Like, you're good girl, you got YSL lipstick, you can afford it, but I never bought myself it and I can afford it at this point. I just like, I don't know what it was. I always would look at them and be like, oh, that's too expensive. I should save money instead of spending that when I could buy something like a NYX lipstick. Like, oh, I don't need that. And finally, I bit the bullet. The formula is everything on these. They are so pretty. Sorry about my watery eye. You can tell it's kind of bringing down my mascara, but this is like everything I ever wanted in a lipstick. They're juicy, they're beautiful. This is the Rouge Volupe Shine. I think this is in the color nine or something like that, but just so pretty. I'll put it right next to the little rock. So, the more sheer is the YSL. This is the rock. You could tell I have a like lip color that I like, but this is just so comfortable and these really do last a long time. So if you can afford YSL lipsticks, pick them up. They're beautiful. If you didn't get it during the sale, it's probably sold out by now. I'll link it below if it, if it isn't, but I would imagine it is because I feel like everything is sold out. I don't know what Nordstrom was doing this year. It was a little strange, but anyway, these are so good if you can afford it or if you like want a gift or something like that that would be such a beautiful gift to give somebody or to receive if you're like a makeup lover so that's it as far as the makeup i did want to mention the luxury scent box i have a video where i talked about this with like traveling i've actually been not like traveling like on a plane or a train or a boat or anything like that but i've been out a lot and i've just been loving having this this is a monthly subscription box and this is a month's worth of product and i have been loving this so much it's so convenient it's so easy to throw in your bag and just give yourself a little spritz every so often and it's so convenient and like you drop this you're not gonna break it. Like the glass bottle is encased in this. So you're not, I've literally used so much of this for like a month and I still have that much. This is the Viva La Juicy. I just love it. If you guys wanna check this out, I do have a coupon code. I will leave it below. I think it's 10% off for Luxury Scent Box and it is so amazing. Check it out if you are interested in a monthly subscription for perfumes because this is super, super, super nice. So let's get into some of the other things that I'm loving that are not like makeup related. So one thing that I have an issue with is sleeping. It takes a lot for me to go to sleep. I don't know what it is. Like I feel like I always have things on my mind and I think about them when I go to bed. So I've been taking, it's only one milligram, which is like the baby melatonin, but I've been taking this melatonin. I got it at Whole Foods, it's Sleep Science. One milligram, they like dissolve under your tongue and I love these, they knock me out. My friends take like 10 milligrams and like when you go to, a, I think Target, they only have like five, 10, 
milligram. Like one milligram is kind of hard to find, but I found it at Whole Foods and I love it. It's natural, it helps promote sleep. It's not like a sleeping pill. I just know it's a better alternative for me than taking a sleeping pill. And I wake up every single day at like seven o'clock and I feel super refreshed. Usually I wake up in the night a bunch of times and it's hard to go back to sleep, but this is really awesome. So if you are having a hard time with falling asleep, talk to your doctor first. Don't take my advice. Talk to your doctor, see what they say. And if they do recommend a melatonin, I think that this is an awesome, awesome option. It's been helping me a lot. So fashion. I'm not like, oh my God, a super fashion forward person. I just like know what I like and I like it. So this is one thing. This is actually an Abercrombie um, like plaid shirt, you know, kind of like we used to wear in high school if you're around my age, which is 29. And this is so nice. They like rebranded a while ago. They took away their little mousse. I'm looking in a mirror behind me so I could make sure you guys could see. This is so comfortable, so nice. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could wear it to work with like a gray sweater over it with a v-neck and you kind of like pop your sleeves out. So comfortable, such good quality. I really like Abercrombie, like I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was like die hard in high school Abercrombie person and then like I was like, okay, I'm over this and now I'm back on it because their stuff is really cute. They always have sales, it's comfortable. I have a size small, I probably could have gone extra small in this. I feel like some of their stuff kind of runs a little large. Uh, but yeah, I love this. So cute, so comfortable. I've been wearing like plaid shirts nonstop and by far Abercrombie ones are the most well-made and just most comfortable for me. So loving this. And another Abercrombie item that I actually bought both of these full price, which is kind of rare for me because I like them that much. But this is just a little denim skirt. This is a size 27, which is like a four. And it's not like one of the old school Abercrombie skirts that are super, super, super short. Like I'm a short person and this probably hits like mid thigh-ish for me, but it's so cute, so comfortable, so well made and I love it. I think both of these were $59 and like I said, it paid full price, which is rare for me, but I just absolutely love these and I've been wearing these nonstop. So these were good purchases for me. If you're looking into, you know, a good plaid type of shirt like this or any kind of you know, like good quality shirt, check out Abercrombie. You wouldn't think to check it out, but it's really nice. I'm telling you, it is really nice. And the same thing with this jean skirt. It's well made. I don't think it's going to fall apart on me. I've washed it a few times. Super cute, super comfortable, super soft too. Just when you're wearing a jean skirt, you want to be comfortable, like jeans all around. I want to be comfortable. So check these out. So like I said, Nordstrom sale. I feel like they sold out of like everything immediately. I have a Nordstrom card, so I had early access, but I still feel like they sold out of everything really fast. So I don't know if these are gonna be available, but if not, I think they are maybe 20 bucks cheaper than what they normally are, and I'm sure they're gonna come back. I have the faux leather leggings from Spanx and they are the most comfortable things in the world. They're high waisted, but they don't squeeze you. I went up to a size medium. Normally I'd be a small because I didn't want to feel like sucked in. I wanted to feel comfortable, but these look so cute on. If you guys want to see you at some point like a fashion, like me showing you in a mirror, let me know. But these are so cute, so comfortable. I'm going to wear the hell out of these. I pretty much only wear leggings. I'm like a Lululemon every single day legging wearer. Like I love those, but I think I'll definitely wear these when I wanna go out. They're really cute, really comfy. Check them out. And I don't mean to be super basic here because like everyone and their mom talks about this, but in the sale, I picked up the Barefoot Dreams cardigan and I picked up the extra small small and honestly this is a little big on me but it's fine because it's for like lounging it's this charcoal gray just cardigan it's not the circle one it's the one that has the hood and it feels like butter it's so comfortable this is gonna be so nice for like airplanes work meetings I get cold so fast this will be so nice because it looks nice but it is so cozy so comfortable and I'm just loving it so I think this was like 90 bucks on sale or something like that maybe it's normally 120 I'm sure the price is on here 75 
way off. Normally 114 and it was 75.90. So good deal. If you guys haven't tried Barefoot Dreams or felt it, go feel it. They feel so, so nice. I love it. So sorry for being basic and like every other blogger on here, but it's worth it with Barefoot Dreams. I want to get the blanket next. All right, and finally, these shoes, which are very non-Nordstrom. These are Skechers memory foam shoes. I've worn these to pieces. You can tell by the bottom, but it's like memory foam on the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are the most comfortable, cute flats. I have fat Flintstone feet and these look so cute for like work. I, I like heels, I can wear heels, but I can only wear them for like two hours before I'm like, screw this, give me my flats. Check these out, I will link these below. So cute, so comfy. I have literally turned every single person I work with onto these and my friends. So if that means anything, go check these out. They have them in different colors as well, which is awesome. So love these. I've had a couple work trips lately, so I've been wearing the hell out of these lately. Okay, and then necklaces. So I've had this cat necklace from Etsy for quite a long time. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. But this one, which is a like Zodiac, it's actually my dog's Zodiac. Uh, it's a Leo, which is a little lion. I hope you guys can see it. Let me just do that so you guys can definitely see it. This is the cutest Zodiac little necklace that I have seen. I'll link it below. It took me forever to get this. I was stalking this last October, I think, and I kept looking and messaging and saying like, when are you going to restock? When are you going to restock? It never did. I finally gave up in like April and then I just checked again and it restocked in the Leo. I, there were a couple other available, but Finally, I got it and I love it. It's so beautiful. It's so high quality and I just I love it I will link this below if you are looking for a unique kind of zodiac necklace This is definitely unique. It's kind of like a horseshoe and it's just beautiful So loving loving this and then finally like I said I've been traveling a bit for work and I'm just over holding like a bag with my computer. It gets heavy, it gets uncomfortable. So I was like, you know what? Get yourself a backpack. So I picked this one up on Amazon. I think it was like 29 bucks, something like that, super cheap. And I love it. It's minimalist, it's cute, it's comfortable. It has a little area in the back for your laptop. And then you have like one compartment there. Then you have another one here. And then it even has this little charging thingy here that you can use. I'm not really sure like how it works and what you would put this into, but it does have this little charging thing. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. And then of course like your little front and then you can put water on the side. It has like pads in the back. So if you are in school or you work and you want a cute but functional backpack, check this out. I will link it below. I absolutely love it. My dog is starting to bark at something. I'm not sure what. Come here, buddy. All right, I promise just a couple more things here that I wanna share. I'm hoping you guys can see me in frame here with this. So I picked this thing up here. I have a very like rustic feel to my house. So I picked this vase up from Target. It's from the like hearth and hand from like Joanna and Chip Gaines. This was like 30 bucks, I think $29.99, which is kind of expensive, but it's beautiful. It's huge, you could see it's huge. And then instead of picking up the little like eucalyptus leaves from Target, which were so expensive, I went to Michael's and I think I picked up all of these. So I have these little, I'm not quite sure what these are supposed to be like, but I picked up a bunch of these and a bunch of the eucalyptus leaves. And I think together all of this was around 30 bucks. So took all of this together was about 60 bucks. And I'm telling you, if you want to find this, at a store like done, this would probably be like close to $120. So check out Michael's for fake flowers. This is the most beautiful vase I think like ever that I've seen. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm just gonna put him right back there for now so you guys can kind of see him in the frame there. But I'm loving, loving, loving that. And then I picked up these little candle holders. I think these are 20 inch, right? It doesn't say how tall it is. 20 sounds right, maybe? I don't know, maybe 18, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but they're from World Market. I picked up two of them to put next to these on my 
like rustic big dining room table that's where I film in my dining room you're sitting on my dining room table and I just picked these up from Michaels as well they're just little fake candles that kind of flicker because I have animals and if you have animals having something on the table that they have access to leads to a very dangerous situation learn that the hard way so uh yeah I'm loving those at world market so I just thought I'd share kind of some home inspo I, I hope you guys enjoy that and then finally I've talked about this before it's the CW home richly scented candle and fresh cut gardenia this and this is a huge one. I got it from Home Goods. I picked up two of them. They were $14.99. Yeah, $14.99. This is the best scented candle in the world. It will smell up your entire house within like 15 minutes of lighting it. This is the best. And I'm not even a floral person. I'm typically like a sandalwood person. It smells so good. So worth the money. If you guys like can't, can't find these at your Home Goods, TJ Maxx, buy it online. It is so worth it. it smells so good so good so yeah i think that is pretty much it besides loving this hairstyle i have been really really liking these space ones if you guys want to see like a tutorial on it i can totally totally do that for you guys but yeah i just thought i would do some a little bit different and share this with you guys so if you have any questions as always please let me know below otherwise let me know if you like this style video or if you want me to kind of stick to the makeup tutorials and let me know what else you want to see below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it means the absolute world to me and i hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.